Hey there, welcome back to our HealthCast. Today we're switching gears a bit to talk about a burning issue, and by that, I mean literally burning. You know how we've heard about global warming for years? Well, guess what? The United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, says we've graduated from global warming to global boiling. Yeah, you heard that right, global boiling. So what's up with this dramatic shift? It's all about the new data released by the bigwigs at the European Union and the World Meteorological Organization. They're saying that July is looking pretty hot, like the hottest month on record hot. Meanwhile, in the U.S., President Biden is trying to protect workers and communities from this extreme heat, even having talks with the mayors of Phoenix and San Antonio to see how their cities are managing and how the federal government can lend a hand. Phoenix, by the way, just smashed a record from 1974 for the number of consecutive days over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. No thanks, I'll pass on that kind of heat. Now, according to Guterres, it's not just North America feeling the sun's wrath. We're talking Asia, Africa, Europe. It's a cruel summer for many. He called it a disaster for the entire planet. And guess what's causing all this heat? You got it, climate change. Scientists have been warning us about this for years, but even they're surprised at how fast things are changing. Guterres emphasized that we humans are to blame for this climate crisis. He says this heat wave is just the beginning, and if that doesn't send chills down your spine, I don't know what will. On the topic of heat waves, much of the U.S. was under what the National Weather Service is calling a dangerous heat wave, with places like Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and Boston under a heat advisory. And New York City? It's under an excessive heat warning. They're expecting numerous high temperature records to be broken through the weekend. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Guterres believes we can still limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. But we need to act fast. And by fast, he means dramatic, immediate climate action. Guterres is pushing for ambitious new national emissions reduction targets, especially from the G20 countries, since they are responsible for 80% of global greenhouse gas emissions. He wants developed countries to reach net zero emissions as close as possible to the target date of 2040 and emerging economies by 2050. He also stressed the need for a transition from fossil fuels to renewables. And for countries on the climate front lines, who have done the least to contribute to the climate crisis. He's calling for financial help from developed nations for adaptation and mitigation. In his speech, Guterres highlighted that extreme weather is becoming the new normal and that countries need to protect their citizens from scorching heat, fatal floods, storms, drought, and raging fires. So that's the lowdown on the global boiling situation. It's a hot topic, no pun intended, and it's something we all need to pay attention to. Because let's face it, this affects all of us. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Stay cool, folks.